Hey guys, with this deep cold going on, I keep seeing pictures of, uh, of horses on Facebook where people have driven by and the horses have snow on their coats or ice and they're out in a field or whatever and people are freaking out saying, oh my gosh, these horses must be so cold. Somebody go save them. But I'm gonna take a moment and teach you how to tell if a horse is actually cold or not. Now for starters, if it is dry, so it's not raining, and the horse has a natural coat, for example, it's not clipped and blanketed, I can assure you that unless the horse is missing fur, it is not cold. It could be minus 50, and if you don't see the horse shivering, the horse is not cold. I can assure you of this. Look at this pony. Look at how hairy she is. Her fur is Mother Nature's, at least one of Mother Nature's, best inventions. She is built to withstand cold, blowing snow and sub-zero temperatures, and she does. She's just here for training. Ordinarily, all the horses here have access to the whole property so they can go where they like. But take a look at her coat. Her coat is so thick. The way that it works, a little bit of science for uh, you folks who don't necessarily know yet, the way that a horse's coat works, and actually the same with a dog, is that the hairs trap air in between them. And horses have the ability to make their coat stand up thick or lay down flat. And they can, when they do that, it adjusts how much air they trap in their coat. Now, if you are outside and it is snowing and you see a horse that has snow piling up on top of its back and you're thinking, oh my gosh, that poor horse is out here in the snow. This is awful. Well, for one, if the snow is piling up on its back, that tells you that there's no heat escaping and that the horse is keeping its body heat in close to itself. I don't know if you can see the little black pony there. He has ice and snow on his back in his fur. Same with the big fat pony mare there, the white one. She has ice and snow on her fur. She was previously laying down in the snow, taking a nap. They have hay that they can lay in, but she chose to lay in the snow. And she wouldn't do that if the coat did not insulate her properly. Now, of course, there is a factor that can change that, and that is rain. The worst thing for a horse with a big, thick, fluffy coat like this is one of those weird, weird days where it's hovering around zero or even a little below, and it starts pissing rain. And that's gonna happen more and more as climate change starts to mess with our, our usual weather systems. Ordinarily, up here in the mountains, it is unheard of for us to have rain in January. And yet we had some, uh, you know, last month and the horses were miserable. So they all got extra rations of feed and they got moved over to where they had lots of trees for shelter, coniferous trees. That way they had um, shelter even though it's, even though it's winter. And so they also get extra feed. Look at this, look at the ice on him. <laughs> this horse is never cold. So the other thing that horses do for heat um, that's different from what people do is uh, they turn food into heat. They metabolize food into heat. So if the horse is got their natural coat, like look at how thick this is. Look at that. If he's got his natural coat, if he's not skinny, and he's got food in front of him, he is fine. You do not need to worry. You do not need to call the SPCA or animal control or go out there with a blanket. A blanket can actually be worse. Now, in the event that someone has clipped their horse's coat, um, you know, for exercising or training, riding purposes, etc., cetera, um, that's not my cup of tea, but you know, if they are counteracting it with a blanket, and they are watching it carefully and adjusting um, accordingly, then that's fine. Um, and you can certainly talk to them if you have a concern. However, uh, that's not what we do 
We don't use blankets unless the horse is like a senior or is missing a significant amount of fur. Um, or if if they're a senior and it's pouring rain in, uh, you know, close to close to zero um, because the rain would counteract their coat's natural ability to trap heat or to trap air and thus keep them warm. So there you go, guys. Uh, just a little tip in case you're driving by on a highway and you see a horse standing out there in a blizzard happily munching away at a bale of hay uh, with snow piling up on their back. Don't worry, that horse is as happy as horses get, I assure you. Um, you know, some horses, I guess, do... Yeah, I hear stories about some horses liking the barn. Fair enough. Uh, these guys, they don't. And a lot of horses, especially when it's raining or snowing, they won't go into a structure or a shelter because they know that predators, when it is snowing or raining, that predators go into those. Like this guy, he doesn't want to go inside stuff. Look at this. He's got this... He's got this big fat belly hair to keep him nice and warm and uh, this big thick coat that traps all this, it's a little dusty, <laughs> but it's got, uh, got all this thick, thick fur to keep him nice and warm. It could be minus 40 and he'd still be toasty warm and happy. And you can tell because you'll see him out there sleeping in the snow. So uh, anyway, just a little bit of education for those of you who don't know. I hope you learned something and I hope the next time that you see a horse standing outside in the field and it's snowing on them, as long as they got a hay bale in front of them or grass, they're probably happier than any horse locked in a barn. Have a great day.